Well, Merry Christmas and welcome to East Heights United Methodist Church. We are so thankful that you are joining us for the children's Christmas pageant. And we pray that the love, hope, joy, and peace of Christmas will rest upon your hearts as you hear once again the story of the coming of Christ shared by our children. Let's listen. Long before the birth of Jesus, ancient prophets told of a wonderful event, the coming of a Prince of Peace, who would be the Son of God and would bring a beautiful message of love and hope to all the world. Listen to the words of Isaiah, spoken hundreds of years before the birth of Jesus. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger, who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, Your God reigns, for the child has been born for us a son given to us authority rests on his shoulder and he is named wonderful counselor mighty god everlasting father prince of peace
Many years passed before the words of the prophets were fulfilled. Then to a simple maiden of the city of Nazareth came the greatest honor and glory yet given to a woman. Hear the words of St. Luke telling of the angel Gabriel's appearance before Mary. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph in the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favorite one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by the words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. You are the angel Gabriel I know, but I am frightened. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you conceive in your womb and bear a son. And you will name him Jesus, and he will be son of the Most High, and Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The first Christmas, nearly 2,000 years ago, was a seemingly unimportant event, the birth of a child in a lowly manger in Bethlehem. Listen to the beautiful story in the words of St. Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration that was taken. Everyone went from their own town to be registered. Joseph traveled with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and also who was expecting a child, from the town of Nazareth in Galilee, to the city of David called Bethlehem, where he was to be registered. Joseph was a descendant of the house and family of David. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in the manger, because there was no room for them in the inn.
the birth of the Christ child, there were some humble shepherds in the hills near Bethlehem. In the region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy to all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. Let us go to Bethlehem now. See this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made it known what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. Poor shepherds were not the only worshippers at the cradle in Bethlehem. Great kings also came bearing fine gifts. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child that is born the king of Jews? Yes, and we observed his star at its rising. Let us welcome the king. The three kings then sent out, guided by a magnificent star that shone brightly above the stable. When they finally arrived, they were overwhelmed with joy. Upon entering the stable, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They knelt in praise. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
The story doesn't end with this major scene. The story keeps going on because Jesus is the gift of salvation for all people, and that includes you and me. When you, when you know him as your savior, you become part of the story. We invite you to share this good news with others and invite them to be part of this incredible story too. Christmas is not only about the gifts of our earthly lives, but about the gift of eternal life through Jesus. And so, as we approach this joyful season, we hope that our passing has helped you remember once again the true meaning of Christmas.